Looks like it was quite a show. She's a very atmospheric gypsy fortune teller. I feel a dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! Ah, please, keep it down. No screaming. Oh, my head. Hi, I'm Guybrush. And you would be? I am Madame Zima, mistress of the ancient arts, a precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool. You're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Whatever. Tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines, giving you the most excruciating death imaginable. So, are you gonna tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding! Okay, okay. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! Good lord, woman, stop that screaming. What is it? Is that a good... Ah! It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? I uh, sure, whatever you say. Now, please go. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist, once again, it is death. Look, a three-headed monkey. Ah! Then the prophecies were true. Where? I don't see anything. They must have run away. This is a very bad omen. I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is your destiny. Whatever. Let's see what the cards say this time. The card says death. Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? Okay, okay. Hit me. Death! How many of those cards do you have, anyway? How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you, and no man can interfere. Your path has been determined. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time for Guybrush. <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Huh? You are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well... Demon! Demon!
Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm... Stop yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just... Oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Find something to clear my head, and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Pirate Potables. How should I use this biscuit? Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. He must be shedding. Here's a wild pepper for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. I found this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Shh. Eggs. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up a dose. Ah, much better. Here, you can take the rest. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? I'd like something subtle with a hint of oak. Here you go, lady.
I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well... Oh, this was once our proudest resort. In recent years, however, hard times have befallen the family good soup and left me alone in this rotting hotel. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. What do you know about the lost ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great aunt Minnie Stroney Good Soup was a well-to-do member of Blood Island society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates, one in particular. He came into port, she fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then. On the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic Good Soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still haunts the Good Soup family tomb. It is a sad story, is it not? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Get lost, Chowderhead. Uh, hypothetically, how would one get into your aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. Oh, crud. Tell me that whole ring story again. My dead great aunt's fiance. How can I get out to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island. Used to? Oh, one cold night, so the tale goes, the Welshman set out in his dinghy. The deep fog around Skull Isle obscured even the moon, but the Welshman could see the distant light of the Blood Island lighthouse. When it rode half the distance, the light in the lighthouse was mysteriously smashed, and the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. Uh, almost? Well, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare into the fog long enough, you may see the flying Welshman rowing in his ghostly dinghy, lost for all eternity. Creepy. How's business? Oh, I need another drink. Not good, I take it. Just look around. No guests, no food, no entertainment. Not even the cannibals will come here. My only regular is a spooky old fortune teller who gives everyone the creeps. Uh, no offense, Fedden's either. A pax on your firstborn! Hmm, yes, right. Eh, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. <laughs> Ouch! Here's your glass back. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Give me something to put hair on my chest. Got just the thing for you. It's not just refreshing. It's also a renewable alternative fuel source. Here you go, lady. Ouch! Here's your glass back. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Whatever. Nothing's too strong for a pirate like me. Right. Ouch! Here's your glass back. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Give me something to clear my sinuses. One grog and menthol. Coming right up. Coming right up. Ouch! Here's your glass back. 
I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Give me a big fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Good choice. It's a delicious taste of the islands, made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. Hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go in my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. your glass back. I'd like a drink, please. Here you go, lady. The bottle's closed. The bottle's closed. Neat. Ouch! Here's your glass back. That opened it. I don't indiscriminately pick up bartenders. I'd like a drink, please. Right. That makes the drink oh so much more appealing. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Skull. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... <laughs> So then the undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer, but I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, 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 you crack me up, Mort. So what's with the new guy? Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all? Funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business having him just lie there. Rest in peace and all that. Really dead? Oh, come on, cut it out. Yikes.